cookbook, I'm Feride. Today we are making a delicious layered salad called Mimosa salad. This salad is very popular in Russia and some of the neighboring countries and there are lots of variations of it. And today I'm going to show you how to make Mimosa salad my way. These are the ingredients we'll need. I have one pound of skinless boneless chicken breast halves that I simmered in slightly salted water until tender, then I shredded it until they're, until I obtained little pieces like this. Then I have a half a cup of walnuts, finely chopped, four medium potatoes, boiled, peeled, then passed, uh, then grated on a coarse side of a box grater. I have three carrots that I did the same, I boiled until tender. I have four eggs that I hard boiled and peeled and grated on a coarse side of a box grater, but I removed two of the egg yolks and uh, we're going to use it for the decoration on top of the salad. I grated these egg yolks on a small side of a box grater. And I also have for the dressing, I have mayonnaise mixed with sour cream, about six tablespoons of each, but you can increase to your taste or decrease to your taste as well. I have fresh dill sprigs that I will use for the decoration. I have salt, a little bit of gouda cheese, which is optional, and that's it. Let's get started. Let's assemble our salad. I have a nice pretty plate that I will be assembling the salad in. And I'm using a spring form, the size of a spring form uh, pan that will serve as my borders. In this way, the layers will be neat and accurate. Then I'm gonna remove this. But this is optional. If you don't have anything like that, just skip it. Just start layering the uh, ingredients on a plate and that's good too. I'm starting with the chicken. Layer the chicken pieces on the bottom of the pan in one layer. Make sure it covers the bottom of the plate completely. I'm gonna press down with my little lid on top of the chicken. And then on top goes some of the dressing, about a tablespoon. Spread it around. On top of the chicken and the dressing goes half of the walnuts that we have. Sprinkle, sprinkle them all around the dressing. Then a little bit of the potato. A dash of salt on top of the potatoes, some of the dressing, but on top of this we're going to put some of the eggs we have, actually half of the eggs we have, half of the carrots, some of the dressing. I have uh, layers of all the ingredients now. Now I'm gonna repeat the layers in the same manner, starting with the chicken, until they're all used up. But I'm going to reserve some of the potatoes for the top, so don't use all of them in, in, in the middle. I'm done layering all the ingredients and I finished with the potatoes that I reserved for the top. And I'm going to spread the very top with more dressing. I'm going to release the edges of this pan and see how our our salad looks just like this. You can spread some of the dressing on the sides of the salad or you can just leave it the way it is. It's up to you. I'm going to recreate a mimosa flower pattern on the salad with dill sprigs like this. Those are the leaves and the branches of the mimosa. And now the mimosa flower itself. I'm going to use the egg yolks that we finely grated. I'm going to grate some gouda cheese on top of the salad. This is optional, it's up to you. I'm sprinkling more egg yolks on top of the salad. Again, you can garnish the salad as you wish. You can leave it plain, just make sure. But I, I really like when it looks festive and inviting. Gouda cheese will add a nice flavor to the salad as well. Our salad is ready to be served. I chilled it in the refrigerator for about one hour to make sure that the flavors blend together and the layers don't fall apart when cutting. Let me get a small sample for myself. I'm going to cut it as a cake. Let's reveal the beautiful inside. I hope it is beautiful. Let's see. This is how it looks. You can see all the layers. Chicken, walnuts, carrots, potatoes, eggs. It's beautiful. Let's try it. I love the salad. It's very delicious and all the ingredients have blended so nicely together. You can feel the crunch of the walnuts. They pair beautifully with the chicken, with the cooked vegetables, with eggs. 
and we have enough dressing in between the layers to make the salad moist as well. I hope you try this recipe and make this salad for yourself and for your loved ones. Get the detailed recipe on my blog azcookbook.com and if you make this recipe let me know down in the comments and use hashtag azcookbook to post your pictures on your social media and I would be happy to see them. Thank you so much for watching me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. I'll see you soon. Bye!